Hey guys, Ben in the seven nine here. Uh, just gonna make a quick vid uh, showing you guys, uh, you know, what type of eighteen six fifty I use for my flashlight, and what type should you buy for eighteen six fifty. So, um, you know, you got lots of brands out there, lots of models, lots of batteries that people buy. Uh, people that are not experienced are gonna take probably the cheapest batteries for their flashlight, and uh, you know. If you want to invest in some good batteries, this is something that's going to last you, that's going to give you the capacity, the runtime of really good batteries. So, uh, the brands I like to go to, my you know my favorites are right here, Panasonic, Panasonic, Panasonic. So, everything is Panasonic. Um, the model number is uh, NCR uh, 18650As MH12. There's a couple of model, different model, unprotected, protected. These, this is a flat top cell, so as you guys can see, no, no rays on it. It's a flat top cell compared to a, a protected cell. This is a protected button top cell, so um, you know different model, but you know the uh, the basic model is going to be MH uh, 1200. So usually you can get these batteries for um, you can get these batteries the Panasonic. Uh, if you shop around on website in China for around fourteen, fifteen dollars, uh, around that. So if you take the unprotected model, of course, going to be a little bit expl uh, less expensive. The flat top and unprotected. Uh, personally, in my flashlight, there are some uh, low voltage cutoffs, uh, so I don't really need to uh, get protected batteries. In most modern day flashlight, there's going to be a cutoff. So when the power reaches a certain level, like three point, you know, uh, six volts or tr below, you know, it it won't go below three volts. So for your battery, or three point two volts or something. So as soon as it gets that low, the, the flashlight is just gonna shut off. So uh, another brand I got is uh, just got that recently is the Samsung, the um, you know eighteen six fifty thirty B SDI E two uh, E thirty three, but that you don't really need that number. So just IRC uh, 18650 Samsung 30B. A pretty good battery too, protected. I got these for I think 12 or 13 dollars for two. So a really good deal on that. Uh, you know, these are still some of the same batteries, uh, protected uh, Panasonic. I got a good deal on those too. I think I paid 14 or 15 dollars for two. So it comes with a little case, two batteries with a little case, 15 dollars. Another brand that I like, uh, a little bit less quality than the Panasonic and Samsung, is Trustfire. Uh, you have to take the True. Uh, they, they have they have the name on the website True uh, 3000 or True 2400. Um, you know uh, these are pretty good batteries, inexpensive, uh, pretty good quality. They've been tested online, a couple of tests done on them, so uh, pretty good for the price. If you want to start off, just get some basic, good quality batteries, but. Some of them sometimes you get some duds, so uh, you get some batteries that are not, you know, full capacity and not working. So uh, uh, this one says 3.7 volts. Most of the batteries are going to be between 3.6 and 3.7 volts. Um, you know, I don't know if you take a 4.35 uh, volt battery, if you charge it on the charger, if your charger charges up to 4.2 volts. Uh, if it's gonna make a difference if you take that type of batteries and you charge it up to uh, 4.2 volts on the charger or you need to take the one that's gonna go up to 4.2 uh, volts probably some people can tell me a little bit more about that you know if you take the uh, the 4.35 volts instead of the uh, 4.2 volts if it makes a difference because the, your charger is gonna charge it up to 4. Uh, 4.34 volts, so I, I basically like to take a little bit less uh, voltage uh, because most of the flashlight run into in, in with batteries like um, you know uh, 4.2 volts uh, maximum charge. Uh, this is a 3.6 volts. Doesn't say on there, but uh, another model number I can show you guys is 3510 CAV. So uh, just gonna show you guys that for the Panasonic because in my opinion this is the one. Uh, you should take the Panasonic's or the Samsung or you know Sony's make some good batteries too. Just stay in the main brands for batteries. If you want to go to something a little bit cheaper, like I said, the Trustfire is a pretty good brand. Now you get the really expensive brand like the Olights, but the Olights is just 
a Panasonic with an Olight wrapper on it and it's double the price so just take an original Panasonic or an original Samsung or you know stuff like that so you know, the Samsung capacity is a little bit less than what it advertised so I think this was 3100 3, and this might be actual capacity 2800 so maybe a little bit less be but Samsung in the next few months in the next few years they're gonna catch up and they're gonna have better capacity so I uh, just played around with the settings on my camera the uh, Sony which is probably gonna be the last video that's gonna be done on it um, simply because I got a good deal on a uh, Canon so I'm probably gonna go with the Canon uh, for the camera so I uh, just you know wanted to make one last video and uh, you know set 10 uh, 1080p uh, resolution so um, it's gonna be a pretty big pretty big file to upload but still you know I just wanted to make uh, just adjust the the color temperature just play with it at maximum just to see uh, the colors and just what I could do with it and I'm gonna go back to uh, maybe I'm gonna go towards the Canon because there's more options, there's more stuff I want on the Canon. So and the price, if I buy a um, if I buy another uh, you know a case for this camera plus you know with the SD cards and stuff, it's gonna be the same price as the uh, as the Canon basically. So and the Canon is the one I really wanted with the mic in and a couple of other stuff. So. Um, just want to let you guys know if you're gonna buy an 18650 batteries buy a main brand buy something that you know you can trust because most of the website now are starting to put on the uh, manufacturer rated capacity and the actual capacity so sometimes you're gonna have battery especially if you got battery in the 4000 or 5000 milliamp for an 18650 that's bullshit the battery is not gonna be 5000 milliamp it's gonna be like you know 1800 or 2000 milliamps so that's really crap that's why you pay for four dollars for a 5000 battery you know uh, it's really crap the capacity is not there and the battery is gonna last you like maybe 20 charge and that's it so uh, stick with the main brand uh, me personally I like the Panasonic uh, this this brand has been tested over time it's one of the best battery on the market right now uh, sure you got some uh, you know new ones that are coming out uh, with higher discharge rate but that's not really for flashlight it's more for like uh, e-cig and stuff like that so uh, for flashlight you know just your basic standard 18650s it's gonna do the job uh, you can see here the little golden wrapper this is a protected model um, I'll show you guys if you get some more information on there but that's basically it so uh, you know, if you want some good quality batteries, uh, don't don't go with the cheap stuff. The cheap stuff, you're just gonna be unhappy, and you're not gonna be uh, that that thing doesn't work. It doesn't last, and it's not the flashlight. It's the battery. So uh, you, you know, if you want to start out, like I said, take the Trustfire basic, basic, basic. This is a protected too, so it's got the protection circuit on it. So basically, the protection circuit is just to protect the battery if it goes below a certain voltage it's just gonna cut off it's just a cut off to protect the battery so but today's charger uh, you can get zero voltage so uh, you can repair those batteries which you shouldn't do a lot because if your battery goes down and you're using something like I don't know something that doesn't keep tracks of your battery uh, voltage um, you're gonna probably you know end up just breaking and uh, destroying your battery so but uh, personally, you know, I like to, to try different brands. LG's got some good batteries too. So LG's, Samsung, Panasonic, Sony. Uh, just go with these brands. Trustfire. You can go with the Key Power, the uh, Olight, like I said. But it's just a different brand wrapper with this exact same battery. So you're just paying for the manufacturer that put their wrappers on it. So you're paying for like a half a cent wrapper and you're paying like double the price. So uh, personally, I like the Panasonics. These are my favorite. This is gonna go back in my. Uh, I just put that one in my uh, the Samsung in my uh, M2X. So I just finished uh, putting some lube on the shredding on my M2X. So I'm just gonna put the uh, this one's fully charged. So I'm just gonna put that back in my uh, in my Olight. So uh, just fits nice in there and. Uh, Guys, if you're taking a higher capacity like a 3400 battery, look at that, nice and smooth. It just goes in there, poof, lights up, lights up perfectly. So, ooh, that's bright. So, um, 
you know it doesn't shake doesn't well you can hear a little bit of shake because the battery is a little shorter than the uh, the other one so uh, since it's uh, um, it doesn't have the button top and just one more thing guys if you take a 30 uh, 3400 milliamp or above or anything that's you know higher power if you take the uh, cir uh, circuit protection on you might have some trouble fitting in your battery so uh, basically I don't know if I can show that maybe with my other flashlight give me a second guys just gonna find my other flashlight right here so all right so this is my uh, Krellant, this is the new one they sent me, so uh, I'm just going to make some tests, so that fits in nice, let's see with the Panasonic, Panasonic fits in nice, that one, that one, so um, it, I think it was the other Samsung, I don't know where I put that one, but uh, the other Samsung had some trouble fitting in, so it was a little bit too... Uh, little bit too big for the uh, for the tube or certain flashlights so depending on the uh, manufacturer they're gonna put some different size tube on there so um, you know you should really watch that for uh, for size if you take it too too much of a higher capacity uh, you're gonna have to push that battery hard in the tube and then after that is uh, how the hell do you come come you know take off the battery so you can always take off the head the other part here and push it out but it's just complicated for nothing so I like my batteries to slide easy in the flashlight and to uh, go in there easy so uh, this is just my little guide on how to uh, you know uh, shop for 18650 which brand to take and which model you should get so uh, and a little test on my camera for a white balance and different settings alright guys I talked for long enough about 18650 so uh, if you like this video just give me a thumbs up subscribe and look forward to seeing more videos in the future see you later see you guys later